Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea. And I'm Howard, and we're with Food Adventure Adventures in Food. And we are here with a, another unboxing from Universal Yums, and this time we are visiting... The Ukraine. <laughs> you sound very enthusiastic about that. Yes, we'll see. <laughs> so it is a monthly subscription box. It's $25 a month, and they send you snacks from a different country every single month. And so we've been getting this for a couple of years, and we have a lot of fun with it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. So you want to go ahead and jump in? Yes. So the first thing that we are trying is... What is it? It is the... Wasabi chip strips. I'm trying to find the front. Wasabi. And oh, and by the way, while Howard is opening that, we, so in each box, you get a little guide for that box in that country. So it gives you different recipes. It gives you fun facts about that country. And then it also gives you a description of all the different items that are in that box. So. Uh, I'm not a big fan of wasabi. Neither am I. Oh. Ooh, this is not what I expected. Here we have a, th oops, a very thin wafer. Yeah, it's almost kind of like, well, I was gonna say seaweed, but it's not, it's not that thin. Very thin. It's very interesting. Okay, you ready? All right, yeah, I'm not looking forward to seaweed, or to, sorry, it <laughs> says wasabi. It's, <laughs> it's uh, delicate and thin. It says it's incredibly strong, hot wasabi flavor, uh, make sure to have some water nearby. Uh-oh, I don't have any water nearby. Cheers, Cheers. Uh -oh. a little piece. It broke. Because <laughs> it's so small. Okay, yeah. I picked it up. All right, cheers. Cheers. I don't like it, wasabi. I mean, it's not as spicy as they make it out to be. No, it's not that hot. But I taste the wasabi flavor, which I don't like, so that's I, it for me. Well, I had a tiny little piece, so I don't taste it as much. <laughs> So it wasn't that bad, but oh. I do, I, I can feel the tingling on my tongue, so. Wasabi. Okay, so next up we have veal and adjika chips. Veal um, chips. I'm probably saying that wrong. It says it's Ukraine's spicy beef obsession in a chip. Doesn't um, sound, I don't know. You like spicy beef. Yeah, but do I like Ukrainian spicy beef? It says red pepper, garlic, herbs, and spices like coriander and dill. This smells like something we've had before. I mean... Oh, and they're not like a... It's like a pop chip. It's not like a potato chip. It's the texture of a pop chip. Cheers. Cheers. Oops. I think we had this before. I don't think I like it either. But... It tastes okay. Oops. The texture is... Um, a little funky because I don't really like pop chips, but the flavor, it does taste like beef to me. And it's not that spicy. It doesn't as... taste like beef I want to eat. <laughs> okay, next up we have roasted garlic rye chips. And this says, this is Ukraine's crunchy, punchy obsession. Um, It talks about how much they love bread there, 82 million tons of grain in 2019 alone. And I don't really care for rye. I'm not a big rye bread person, so we'll see. Why is it so hard for me to get this thing out? I don't know. Oh, and there's another bag within the bag. That's why, there's a bag within the bag. Yes. Uh, right. Actually, they don't look too bad. They don't look like what I thought they were going to look like, so. These might be okay. Okay for you. I got a little piece because uh. You you like rye bread. Mm -hmm. This is what they look like. And you know, special. Cheers. Cheers. Nope. Actually. You like it? I don't like the taste of the rye, but I do like the garlic. The well, garlic is pretty good. It's Not very pretty. garlicky and it's kind of salty. Um, I like it. Okay, you can enjoy the rest of it. <laughs> okay, so now we're getting into some sweet stuff. Hey. Okay. We are going to try out <clears throat> sweetened condensed milk cream cakes. This doesn't sound like something you would eat. No, it doesn't. It says creamy, rich, and drizzled with local cocoa. Oh, um, it's very. It's a no bake. 
cake, I it's think. Stuck to the bag. Oh yeah? Yeah, let me just. It's very spongy. It says after World War Oh, World War II. <laughs> Ukraine faced food shortage shortages that forced folks to get creative in the kitchen. So they started using sweetened condensed milk and things like that. Things that didn't really require any baking. Oh, that's a big piece. Hey, that's like uh, my size piece. Cheers. Cheers. It's very spongy. How mm -hmm. is it? Oh, it's very light. It. It's like ear. <laughs> and then the cream in the middle doesn't taste too sweet. It's coffee? Is that what it is? Mm. It's cocoa. Okay. It's, it's not um, bad. It's not bad. It's maybe the texture of a Twinkie, but a little bit drier. It's very light. It's very light, but it's kind of dry tasting. Mm, I don't know. Eat the cream in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So next up, we have baked milk and dark chocolate wafer. Mm. And it says, taste the famous baked milk caramel. Um, so this sounds pretty good. It says there's 11 layers of crispy wafer coating and dark chocolate coating. Oh. Oh, wow. It's a whole. Yeah, a little bar. Wait. So this sounds good to me. Well, yeah, I thought you don't like wafers. I don't, but this sounds good with the caramel, because you know I do love caramel. You want an inner one or an outer one? <laughs> sounds like belly buttons. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers. What do you think? Not bad. Mm. I like wafer type stuff. Uh, very chocolatey. It is. And I'm not into chocolate like you are. Mm -hmm. So it has a texture of a Kit Kat but it doesn't have, well, my piece was not an outside piece, so it didn't have a lot of chocolate on it, but um, it was it was okay. Okay, what do we have next? So next up, we have dark chocolate and almond wafer. Is it this one here? And it says, no, it's this one, the green one. Okay. Okay, this green one here. It looks like the last one we just had. And it's, um, just a different flavor of the Dark thing. chocolate and almond wafer. It says Ukraine's sweetest, nuttiest, biggest wafer. Wow, it looks. It has real grated almonds and rich dark chocolate. So they like their big chunks of uh, stuff. Big whatever. Kit Kat ish type <laughs> candies. <laughs> yes. Let me cut a chunk of this for you. All right. Outer or inner? What it looks like it has a bunch of little layers of chocolate. I know our light is kind of bright. Cheers. Cheers. I taste what, hazelnut or something in this one? Mmm. It doesn't say. Some kind of nut. Almonds. Um, I love almonds. I don't like almond flavor. And that's what this tastes like to me, like almond flavor or something. I taste the chocolate too again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's dark chocolate. <laughs> okay, so then we've got a creme brulee milk chocolate bar. Okay, I guess regular chocolate. And it just says Ukraine's most decadent chocolate. There's a lot of chocolate in this box. Oh no, Ukraine, I guess they like chocolate. I guess so. Um, and then they said, you may be asking, isn't creme brulee from France? You'd be right. But Russian royals sent chefs to Paris to learn from culinary masters, is oh. what it says. Oh, there's something oh, in the middle? Something in the middle, but this one's leaking something. Oh, it's the creme brulee. Oh. It's the creme brulee. You want the leaking or the non-leaking? <laughs> I think it sounds so appetizing. I'll take the non-leaking. Okay. Okay. See, it has something in the middle that's leaking out. Yes, cheers. cheers. Ooh. That tastes like almond flavoring or something. I don't like the flavor. I guess maybe I don't like creme brulee. Mm -mm. There's a Not weird taste. I mean, what does it taste like to you? Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. So next up we have the caramel bubble white chocolate bar. 
Oh, what's this bubble stuff? Champagne. Oh, it champagne. It says the champagne of Ukrainian chocolate. And it says um, Roshin is the name of the chocolate manufacturer and they produce over 450,000 tons of treats every year. Ooh. Willy Wonka-ish mastermind. Oh wait, is there like a cookie? Oh, no, just white chocolate all the way through? Um, have something on my lips. Um, I don't it? know. It says um, the it's chocolate is aerated to create tiny bubbles. I feel like it's melting on my fingers. It, me too. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. It's like melting your mouth. Mm-hmm. I like it. That is actually I pretty good. I do like good. white chocolate though. And it's really weird because it just dissolves in your mouth, kind of like a chocolate pop rock. It just, it just dissolves. The pop rocks have like the fizzy or something. Mm -hmm. No fizzy, just. But it's a weird. It just disappears. Yeah, it's odd. Anyway, that's pretty but good. It's good. That's pretty good. So then, is that what else do we have? Oh, we have one last thing. Okay, two. so oh yeah, we have two more things. So we have creamy toffee squares. Yes, they like their. Uh, Toffee and chocolate. And stuff over there, don't they? It says there is a velvety cream filling. Oh, filling. Mm-hmm. So this one looks inside like the other one, the, the bubble one. But the texture is more like a fudge, kind of. Yeah, it's not as light. Cheers. Chewy. Not very sweet. Not my favorite. It, it has a texture of fudge, but it doesn't taste like fudge. It's not very sweet. It's not very sweet. And there's a flavor that I can't quite put my finger on. I think it's a fudge flavor, but it's just mild. It doesn't taste like fudge to me at all. It doesn't taste like chocolate. I don't know. It's not, not my favorite. Mm. Okay. And so the last candy, well, not the last one, but we have um, one more item to try, and then it's called Honey fruit. Summer Fruit Jellies. And I'm usually not a big fan of stuff like this. I mean, I like gummy bears and things like that, but this kind I'm not into. It says extra sweet, extra soft. Ooh, so it comes in a tub all these flavors and stuff in there. Oh, they're pretty, pretty colors, 25% right, juice. I don't know what the different flavors are. Me either, but I'm gonna go for a red one. I go for a, whatever the color it says. Pear, cheers. that's a pear. Oh, it's, I don't want a pear, but. I have a straw. <laughs> all right. Cheers. Too late, cheers. Mm, I like it. No, this is one of those really, really soft jelly. This one tastes like a pear, even the consistency. <laughs> No, this was this is not for me. This is not a hair bro gummy bear. It's soft, it's good. It's how extremely about, how about a, a green one. Knock yourself out. Okay, and so the last thing that we have in the box, which we typically don't try, is you get a bag called a yum bag. In the yum bag are little Hard like candies. hard candies and things like that. We don't try them because, you know, you'd have to, it takes a while to eat hard candy. But they give you a variety of hard candies and they do have a description of all the different hard candies um, in the bag as well. So there's a bunch of them, like yeah. 10 to 12 for you to enjoy. Yeah, a lot of different ones. So anyway, I think that's it, right? Since yeah, we've got that's everything. It. Okay. A lot of chocolate. A lot of chocolate. I don't think we've ever had that much chocolate in a box before. I don't think so. And the thing is, I'm not a fan of, of those big chop bars, those wafer bars. So I like wafers. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.